Hi guys, um, it's Monday, the week of April 13th. Um, I hope you guys are doing well with our extended uh, time away from school. I just wanted to check in and uh, make sure you're looking at a couple of things on our announcements. Okay, so first of all, uh, seems like you guys have figured out Flipgrid pretty well. Um, so thank you for that. Um, you'll keep having um, pretty much about one assignment um, on that per week. And then uh, also you'll have your uh, practice report, the online Google form to turn in as well. Okay, uh, so first big thing, please make sure that you've checked out um, our solo project since um, our lots of our spring uh, performances were canceled. I'm gonna require for everyone to play um, a solo for me um, on Flipgrid. Okay, so check out, I've also got a Google Doc about it, but check out the solo project on the slide. Um, if you have been assigned a solo by a private teacher, then uh, work on that one. If you're not, you're not involved in private lessons, I have three that you can pick from on smart music. Okay, so if you haven't uh, gotten into this new upgraded smart music, make sure you do that. Um, and I've got three to choose from out of the uh, Standards of Excellence, Festival Solos, Book Two, and Percussion. You also have a snare um, option as well. Okay, so pick one of those options. It's kind of like an easy, medium, and challenging in there, however you're feeling. But this is uh, going to be turned in, again, recorded on Flipgrid for me at the end of the month. Smart music allows you uh, to kind of mess around and play with that music. You can hear just the solo part or you can play along with the accompaniment. Uh, I suggest slowing down the tempo at first so that you can practice um, before you uh, speed it back up and play with that accompaniment. Okay, so let me know uh, if you have any issues uh, with that. All right, but solo project, thing number one, pick one. All right, uh, thing number two is audition music. Uh, make sure whether you're an eighth grader going on to high school um, or a seventh grader coming back with us uh, next year that you're checking out your audition music, okay? Uh, so for seventh graders, my Murphy friends, uh, make sure you've uh, downloaded or printed or can view our audition music, um, but don't forget that the audition will also involve scales, okay? We've been working on scales and thirds. Go back and review um, your scales as well to make sure that you're prepared for that audition. If you need help with the audition music, um, you can feel free to go back through uh, the beginner class slides, find the correct one for you and your instrument. And uh, Mr. Cyber, Ms. Barnhill and I have made um, some little videos to break down and kind of practice and work on that audition music if you're needing some help. Okay, so check those out. But um, you know, it's designed to be challenging. It's designed to be a long-term project. So make sure you're breaking it down, slowing it down, and really working out um, the parts to that so that you're gonna feel really confident on your audition, uh, which we'll have more information on a little later. Okay, all right guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.